What's going on guys? Today I'm going to do a quick review of the, I believe it's called Toptos, Toptos, uh, self-inflating sleeping pad. And in this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about this sleeping pad, including one thing that you should know before buying. So guys, we got this for one simple reason. We love camping, but one of the things that I can't stand is how I'm nearly paralyzed when I wake up. Because uh, if you sleep on a tent on the ground, you know, or if you sleep uh, just on a blanket or whatever, it doesn't usually do it for me. Just getting a little bit, getting a little bit rougher with the old age there. So it's nice to have some padding. And this little thing is pretty incredible the way it works. I absolutely love it. It's quickly become one of my favorite things uh, that we have when camping. So first off, I know it looks big now. This is actually full of air. And yes, it does self-inflate. I'll explain how that works in a second. But it all fits in that bag which is pretty awesome. Uh, it's just over two pounds and it fits right in there once you roll it all up. So it doesn't take up a lot of room, which is just great. And it's just a really, really cool device, uh, you know, when you actually use it. Now it looks like this is a pillow. It is not, it is part of the uh, self-inflating, uh, I guess you could call mechanism that it is. Uh, and overall, I mean, I don't know exactly how thick this thing is, but I'd say probably about almost maybe six inches, like five, six inches. Uh, overall so it is actually really comfortable reasonably wide uh, and it works really really well so let me go ahead and explain here real quick how it works because uh, it had me confused for a second so there are two valves this is the valve on the bottom and you'll notice this big rectangle thing here and then there is a valve on the back side right there right so that's actually the deflation valve right and this is the inflation valve and the way it works, you may be thinking, oh, don't do that because you're going to let out all the air. I'm not. This is a two-way valve, right? Or I'm sorry, a one-way valve. So basically, when you press in, it will end up here. We can, I think we can let a little bit, well, I can't even let a little bit of air out. But basically, you pump it up by opening it, like what we have here, right? And pressing this. And what happens is, as you're pressing it, it takes a little bit of time, but as you're pressing it, it will actually self-inflate. There's basically something in here that will actually inflate it. So let me deflate it for a second. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so right here you can see I have deflated a little bit, right? And what we do, we open this, and all we gotta do is press. And just like that, right? You can probably see it starting to inflate a little bit. And right before your eyes, this is inflating. Now, I will say one thing that I advise with this, there we go, see how much more that it's inflated, is that when you're doing it, they say to actually use your foot here. I actually didn't find that to be easiest, especially when you're out camping. Um, I like to almost just put two hands on here side by side and kind of do like CPR uh, when I'm pushing it. And it just seems to do a lot better in terms of pumping it up. But yeah, that's how it works. And it's pretty awesome for what it is. Now, one thing I was definitely concerned about with this was how well would it hold up to tears and things like that. We've taken this out a lot uh, in the last month. We go pretty much every weekend, taking it a lot, out a lot, taking on some beatings. It really doesn't tear all that easy. Uh, they basically say it's made of a nylon, nylon components and things. Uh, and just generally speaking, I have not noticed any tears or anything like that. I mean, I've been using it as much as we would, putting it on the ground everything, everywhere we gotta put it. And it's done really, really well so far. So yeah, guys, overall, super easy to use. Like I said, the inflator there, the deflator on the other side. Uh, deflating it takes seconds. It's almost like an air mattress, really, when you deflate it. It's really, really quick. You just kind of lay on it and then, uh, you know, fold it and, and curl it up and put it right in the bag that I showed you earlier. Um, the only thing to know is that when you are doing the inflating, so my worry was, was that I had to blow into this thing, and for a second I did. That's dumb. That's not what you need to do. Like I said, just use your hands to pump it here, um, and it will actually inflate pretty easy. And uh, yeah, that's just the only thing to know. And obviously it takes a little bit of time when you're inflating it, not a crazy amount. I mean, I was able to inflate this thing fully, I'd say probably like two to three minutes, you know, just using my hands. So works really well, pretty cool. And if you're kind of on the fence about it, I definitely would recommend it. I think you'll enjoy it as much as we have.